We're joined by headlines today's correspondents Pankaj Upadhyay and Vidya, who've been tracking this story very, very closely for the last couple of days. Vidya, let me come across to you first. Gautam Vora has got a level of interim relief in this entire case. Take us through what happened in court today. Well, it all started with the fact that, you know, uh, the prosecution put forward its uh, the uh, post-mortem report, the photographs, the C uh, CD, the, uh, the CD containing the footage of, of, of the location where the body had been found. All this put forward, the court asked them whether they, they actually knew whether this was a homicide or a suicide, uh, to which the prosecution did not really have an answer, which is why the court, uh, the court was really perturbed as to, even after four days of the death, you do not know as to what exactly has happened in the case, and you are uh, actually trying to investigate, and you are in fact not even sure that you, you do not or you do want the custody uh, of uh, Gotham. So which is why the court went ahead and said that uh, since Gotham, uh, police is not entirely saying that they will not arrest Gotham and since there's an uh, application for and he has an apprehension that he will get arrested. So which is why the court went ahead and gave him the relief that if co uh, police actually wanted to arrest him at any given point, it has to give him a 72 hour notice in writing before they actually arrest him. All right, so there was some interim relief as far as Gautam Vora was concerned. Vidya and Pankaj, just stay with me for a moment. What was it that pushed Viveka completely over the edge last Friday night? It's often said that troubles never come alone. It was the same with supermodel Viveka Babaji. A faltering career coupled with a crumbling business, a never-ending quest for relationships that never really materialized. Her life was fragmented with problems, and each of these fragments made her even more frustrated, progressively even more prone to a desperate death wish. We chronicle the last sad, sordid months in the life of the former supermodel. She was obsessed with him and he didn't seem to care. Desperate for love, Viveka Babaji continuously messaged Gautam Bora, trying to convince him of her love. She tried and tried, even a week before her death. I love you a lot. She sent a string of messages professing her love to Gotham on the 21st and 22nd of June. Her messages were filled with anguish. Viveka also sent him a bouquet of flowers and balloons. It was Gotham's birthday on the 25th and she was planning a big surprise. She was truly, madly and deeply in love, but to no avail. Oh, no, no, 22nd, 23rd and 24th. Go full vision, sir. Oh, it was like a regular event. Continuous orders for three days. But when her feelings were not reciprocated, she was shattered. On the 23rd of June, an insecure, Viveka sent Gotham a message saying, I know you hate me. She had invested everything in her relationship with Gotham Vora, but got very little in return. She was upset with his negative replies. When Gotham visited her on the 24th of June, the two of them had a loud argument. She thought he was double-crossing her. Her finances too were crumbling. She would have huge fights with her business partner and former boyfriend, Kartik Choban Putra. All this pushed her to the brink. She was just very, very depressed and very lonely. And I guess she was just very lost because she tried doing this uh, entertainment company with her boyfriend or her ex and it didn't work so you know they think that was the end of everything she was already dependent on antidepressants Viveka's landlord believes that she planned her suicide she had disconnected the intercom and the landline at home before taking the ex all right one of the strange things that's happened between yesterday and today is Gotham Vora coming out and saying that he had no physical relationship with Viveka Babaji. He wasn't her boyfriend. They were just very close friends.